Uh, can you tell me how failures have played a role in your success? Oh, I, I don't think I would have one ounce of success in any area of my life if I haven't failed. Um, I think failure is directly related to success. And I think one of the things I love about sports and coaching is I feel like the number one lesson you get out of it is coping skills. You get knocked down, you know, you get uh, you, you, you get discouraged, you know, you get humbled. Um, you have to learn how to channel your energies and be hungry and continue to fight and have that drive and that motivation and be inspired to continue going. And, and if you always succeed, you don't have that drive. It's yeah. you're numb, you're numb. And it, it, it's, it's it, success doesn't taste as sweet, if, if you will. Um, it's failure that makes it sweet. It's failure um, in your experiences about recovery. Um, I coached for 24 years. I, you know, I, I've been told I was a very successful coach um, and I did a lot of, you know, impactful things. I don't have any state championship trophies. I mean, we went to the final four. We didn't come home with any state championship trophies. You know, we held trophies over our head at this tournament or that tournament, or we'd win districts or we'd go to the quarterfinals. Yes but I don't have any state championship out of 24 years coaching. And, and so, you know, being successful has a lot of definitions to it. Um, but I'll tell you that, that more than a state championship trophy, I love going to weddings of former players. I love meeting them for coffee and catching up with them. I love still being a part of their life and, and still being able to, to communicate with them. That to me is, is a, a tremendous success, but um, failure is just a part of it. When I um, was coaching, oftentimes um, we would have movie nights and one of my favorite movies that I would have uh, my teams watch. And right now, working with teams as a sports counselor and with my clients, often I will have them watch the Disney movie Meet the Robinsons. I don't know if you're familiar with that movie or not. But I, I love this. I love like animated movies. So yes. I've brought, oh yeah, I've seen it. It celebrates failure. It's all about keep moving forward, keep moving forward. And so I, I think my biggest catchphrase when I think about failure, or when I get frustrated or when something doesn't go my way, I tell myself, how can I fail forward? How can I fail forward? And that's what I say to myself often. And that's not an original thought. That is something I stole from a, a guest speaker we had at Champs <laughs> once. But fail forward is was uh, Mike Woody gave that uh, speech. And, and I really, um, that stuck with me. So I use it all the time.